Hello, and um, welcome to the dialogue creator system. So, I'm going to show you uh, just very briefly how to use this. It's very uh, simple to use. This is a dialogue sheet that is just an example sheet um, to make your own. Um, and by the way, this is what it looks like here in Unreal 4. Um, and it just has the scene names in column one. Uh, and then each row is a individual scene of dialogue. So you see this scene just has one line. This scene has seven. And uh, you um, just set it up like that. But um, to make your own, um, to easily import here, we use, I'm using Google Sheets, but you can use Excel or whatever. And um, this is this is the uh, original file that I was using. So, say your writer is uh, not too adept in UE4, they can just use their own spreadsheets, um, and then just export the uh, CSV file and import it in as a uh, data table, um, and then uh, once you have that. Um, you can go into the dialog widget, go into the graph, and you'll see um, right here off of event construct. And by the way, everything is uh, neatly labeled for you here. Just set up the um, this uh, these nodes here: get data table row dialog sheet. Set up that um, that it's using your sheet. And then that the row name of is what you want it to use is what you want it to go off of. And um, yeah, uh, from there it should be relatively straightforward. Um, apart from that, just some other functionality that I included here is that oh, and one thing you want to keep in mind. Uh, the dialog struct is a, just like a very blank struct. It's just um, to hold all of the, uh, the, the. Just make sure it's the maximum size of uh, that. The <laughs> sorry that there's uh, enough text values to fit your the scene of uh, that has the most lines in it. So uh, my uh, biggest scene that I have has 12 lines which is uh, 12 columns across on the spreadsheet. Um, just make sure that uh, if you if you have more than that, that um, you just click new variable and you just add some more. Um, and apart from that, the uh, dialog creator is a function that you can call whenever you want to, instead of you, instead of you manually um, creating the dialog widget and then trying to remember what all the uh, variables are that you need to set just use this function uh, just, um, new dialog it's called so when you right click on the context menu you should be able to bring it up on new dialog um, and so you can set who's talking so um, if the audio um, will follow that particular character uh, like uh, spatially wise it'll spawn the audio right on them in case they're moving around if that's not set it is it still creates the audio it just creates it as a 2d sound effect to be played uh, so there's no like spatial um, effects applied to it then then there's the um, the text array which you uh, you just feed it the um, the uh, text to use and the audio files that you want it to use um and the uh, scene name is just the name of the scene that you want it to play which is uh just set up on and also the the old uh, yeah the old dialog widget is just um it's, there's a note right here about it but it's basically just saying um, when it's done, it passes on the new dialog widget 
um, that it creates here. So just set that as a, a variable so you can uh, refer back to it whenever you want to create a new one. Then you can just pass on that variable into here so it knows to get rid of it to start the new one so it doesn't overlap itself. Um, and okay, yeah, the C name is the C name. It's very uh, straightforward there. Uh, dialog trigger. Uh, it's, it's a trigger box they can use. It also has skip uh, button functionality applied to it, where if the player is inside the skip box, uh, if player is inside the dialog trigger box, they can skip. With um, right now, I just set it to just uh, space bar, but uh, you can set it to any key or. Uh, button press that you want um, and then I have a reset um, uh, function also here uh, event um, so that uh, if you want the dialog uh, lines to reset uh, you can uh, make it do that with uh, no problem and there you have it um, let me know if there's any questions.